What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another DIY video on my channel and today we're featuring the Add W1 oil catch can for the Nissan Infiniti VR30 DDTT. So this is a direct injection application and throughout the course of this video I'm going to go over a little bit of why this catch can is beneficial for this particular platform and also I'm going to show you guys a quick DIY on how to install this particular catch can on this platform. So I've gotten already opened this up a little bit but inside you're going to find some instructions and some information on the baffle oil catch can system of course you're going to have your inlet and outlet hoses they feel pretty good quality they also have the add w1 logo on them you're going to have one standard bracket for the catch can itself you're going to have some hardware in here for all of your hoses and o-rings and stuff like that and you're also going to have your locking ring um, for the hoses right next to the catch can you can customize these in any color that you want um, i did see about i think it's about 10 colors at least on the list so and last but not least, we have the catch can itself. I have the carbon fiber version here. Um, it's a little bit more money, but it's also a really nice looking catch can. It feels very high quality, um, has a good weight to it, and it also has a dipstick to know how much oil is inside your catch can. So let's go ahead and begin the installation and uh, let's see what we uh, come up with. First things first, before we begin the installation, let's look at where this is potentially going to be installed. Um, we're going to be using that bat bolt right there on our air cooler mount. Pardon me, I'm missing one bolt due to the last time this was put together. I did lose the bolt, but anyways, uh, we're going to be using that bat bolt right there. We're going to be using the hose for the outlet right here off the intake manifold. And we're also going to be using the inlet hose connecting to that right there on the P um, PCV. First things first, let's go ahead and disconnect our hoses. So I'm going to start with the one, the one side on the intake manifold. It's got a pretty good size clamp on there. There's one, and the second one is down here. So now that we've disconnected both hoses, I wanted to show you what it looks like. So this is the one side that comes off the intake manifold, which is the outlet, comes right here. It's pretty loose. And the one that comes on the inlet side is right there, and that is completely off. Now, just feed the hose out of there, and then you can continue on to the next step, which is installing the bracket for the catch can. There is our hose completely out of the car now. In order to remove that 12 millimeter bolt that we spoke about earlier, I would highly suggest a ratchet with an extension in order to get that bolt out safely, and try not to drop it below in the engine bay. Go. We have our 12 millimeter bolt out. Next up, we have our bracket that goes in, and we're gonna use that 12 millimeter bolt we just took out to put it in place. There's our bracket fully installed. It took me a while because I don't have two bolts on there, um, and it's created some resistance as I'm trying to tighten that bolt down. But other than that, our bracket is I think somewhere where we need to be at in order to install the catch can and have any clearance issues but we can always make adjustments. Next up what you want to do is put the fittings on the inlet and outlet side of the catch can. Just make sure you use the o-rings to get a tight seal. Put our o-rings in there like so. Thread them by hand. Let's do the other one. And to tie and snug these up, use a 19 millimeter. Just don't do it too much um, so that you don't crush the O-ring or damage it in any kind of way. It doesn't take a whole lot to tighten these down. All right, so let's go ahead and tighten these up. They take a few turns, but you'll start noticing when the resistance is pretty good. I think about right there is really good. Um, let's move on to the next one. There we go, that's pretty good. So I quickly found the best way to install this catch can is to remove this little bracket that it comes with, with these 2.5 millimeter Allen wrenches um, bolts right here. You can remove those and reuse them on the bracket that you just installed over right next to the intercooler. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these from the bracket itself. I'm just gonna loosen these up really quick. This is a 2.5 millimeter. There we go. And the rest you can loosen it up by hand. All right, so we took the two two and a half millimeter bolts um, that came on this little bracket here, removed them, and placed them right over um, the catch can there, and we got it secured. Um, 
I just check the clearance, make sure you shut the hood and everything, make sure there's uh, plenty of clearance when you shut the hood, it doesn't make any marks or anything like that. And also that it clears your uh, intercooler and also clears the side panel here so there's no um, noise complaints as you're driving from potholes or under acceleration or anything like that. It moves a little bit, but it's pretty stiff. All right, so you receive two hoses. One is longer than the other in this kit. So the shorter one's gonna go on the inlet side and the longer one's gonna go all the way to the outlet side which goes onto the intake manifold and the short one goes right up front here in the PCB. So let's put in our first hose. This is the inlet side, the short one. Let's plug it in. And I'm also gonna put in the longer side. Just pre-install it. Feed it through the locking ring and also put it in there. There we go. Slide that over. You can go ahead and tighten it down. There we go. Now we can begin connecting our two hoses. Pro tip, it worked for me, just be very careful. If you're having a hard time getting this hose into the inlet there, just make sure um, you can actually take the uh, oil cap off, cover it. I covered it with uh, painter's tape really quick when I did it and then um, I put the clamp where I needed to go and I have plenty of room to access it. So something else you guys can do. All right, so this is what worked best for me. Um, I actually disconnect this that I did in the previous step and just took the hoses, fed the clamps through and found the best possible position to feed these hoses through without having to have the restriction of the hose already connected to the cash can itself. So that allowed me to actually have a pretty good flexibility uh, in terms of how can I feed the hose through um, and not have to worry about that. So um, we're all done. The cash can, uh, the PVC side is hooked up. The uh, <clears throat> top over here on the manifold is actually connected. And all we gotta do is hook up this back up to the cash can itself and we should be all done. All right, so the installation is complete. It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna show you guys how my hoses are hooked up again. The outlet size that goes to the manifold is back there. As you can see, and the inlet size goes to the PCV. I'm still undecided on the routing of the hoses. Maybe I'll change it up in the future to look a little bit cleaner, but it's getting late. It's raining, you probably can hear the storm. And uh, the install is complete, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the quality of this kit. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the whole point of having this cash can on the VR30. As you guys know, this is a direct injection system on the VR30 3.0T engine. So if you guys are familiar with the BMWs or Volkswagen, now, normally they're used to having a lot of carbon buildup on the intake valve system and the only way to get rid of it at a certain point is to wall not blast the intake uh, valves and that requires taking all of this stuff that you see up here especially on this platform I don't think any of us want to do that so to greatly reduce the amount of carbon buildup on the intake valves on um, the direct injection system since we don't have fuel washing that off um, is to get a catch can. This is going to collect all of this stuff that normally kicks up back in those intake valves and puts it in this catch can right here. Now, uh, you typically, I typically check this every um, thousand miles or so and empty it regardless of where it's at. Um, typically, after the first couple of checks, you can gauge how often you have to check this uh, catch can. It has a nice little dipstick, which is great from the last setup that I didn't have this, so I am very grateful for that and put it right back in and to drain it it's pretty simple um, you can either choose to loosen up the catch can or simply loosen up the bolts and take it out all together but other than that guys thank you so much for tuning in shout out to uh, Ed w one for providing such a high quality product from the hoses the catch can itself the fittings everything feels top-notch and I look forward to providing you guys with more DIY videos thank you for tuning in